What was the response of the world community? So what do you think will be the response of 1.3 billion Muslims? I picture myself. I'm in Kashmir. I've been locked up for 55 days. I have heard about and their rapes, Indian army going into homes, soldiers. I, would, I, would I want to live this humiliation? Would I want to live like that? I would pick up a gun. You're forcing people. You are forcing people into radicalization. When people lose the will to live, what is there to live for? And this is what, if you can do this to human beings, you are actually radicalizing people. And so, uh, Mr. President, I will be blamed. Two nuclear armed countries will come face to face like we came in February. And before we head in that direction, the United Nations has a responsibility. This is why. This is why the United Nations came into being in 1945. You were supposed to stop this happening. I feel we are back to 1939. Munich, is it going to appear? <laughs> countries. Mr. President, if a convention war starts and it could, anything could happen, but supposing a country seven times smaller than its neighbor, I sell this question. And my belief is, la 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 la, there is no God but one. And we will fight. And when, and when, And when, and when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN, you've got to, this is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed this is the time not to appease like in 1939 appeasement took place. This is the time to take action. And number one action must be that India must lift this inhuman curfew, which has lasted for 55 days. It must free, it must free all political prisoners and especially those 13,000 boys that have been picked up. Parents don't know where they've disappeared. And then the world community must give the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. Yeah.